And Stuart Graves and I'm a psychiatrist who works in community health here in uh, Clear Vermont. So I be in what's called the public sector. And um, I guess I'm here to confess that I'm a complete slacker. I can never earn my key. I sometimes sit down and read records. I sometimes talk to case managers. I sometimes uh, call the cardiologist. I sometimes uh, talk to doctors in the hospital. I sometimes write an open record. Once in a while, I even go up to people's homes and visit them there because there's too much stress to make it. So I just don't earn my key because all those things just can't be important doing good care for complicated performing stuff. <coughs> but you'll notice I'm not exactly dressed in rags, so thankfully my employer has found a way to pay for me, even though I don't earn my key. Now, the way they pay for me is actually incredible. They slice and dice me in so many ways, they put me in so many funding streams, that it's actually Byzantine. It's not able to be understood. And that Byzantium is the low-hanging fruit. That's what needs to change. So my little tale of <clears throat> extreme silliness uh, goes like this. And by the way, my days are just sort of a parade of inequities and, 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 and odd things. But, um, I was once working in a hospital on a psychiatric unit, and there was a person who was committed to the hospital, was sent there involuntarily because they had a mental illness, and they made some credible threats to kill somebody. Once they got in the hospital, they holed up in the room for a couple of days and told me where I could go. Mm -hmm. Well, I needed to call the insurance company and say, can I keep this person in the hospital? Call them up, talk to somebody in Oklahoma, and they said, or can I keep paying for this person in the hospital? Call them up, talk to somebody in Oklahoma, and they said, nope, got to discharge that guy. Now, mind you, the person was still, by law of the state of Vermont, an involuntary patient. So needless to say, I didn't discharge him, but needless to say, the hospital lost money. Thank you.